Hey everybody, today I'm working on a Honda Element and it needs ball joints. So basically I've already taken the car apart um, and also needed um, outer tie rod ends. And these were all rusted up so I had to clean them up with a die and um, I got anti-seize on them. I cleaned up the nut. The new ones did not come with nuts, which I'm surprised. Um, so on this car here, we had to take the whole knuckle off. So you're gonna have to take the brake caliper off, the brake holder off, the rotor off. You have to take these two bolts off and you have to break the bottom of the ball joint loose. Let me go in the back. Let's go in the back room. Let me show you what I got going on here. So here is the knuckle with the bearing and the ball joint. I've already pulled the rubber boot off, but you can see right here how bad that ball joint is. So it needs a ball joint. The reason why you have to take the whole knuckle off is the um, the CV joint is here and the ball joint has to come out that way. So on these, I don't use the ball joint press to press these out. I usually take an air hammer and just knock these off. It might take some time, but it will knock it out. But I'll tell you what, what's really is nice is, you know, you might have yourself a ball joint press right here, right? But this does not have all the adapters you need. You really need to buy this Astro Pneumatic uh, 7868. And this has a lot more adapters that you need. Actually, this is, I actually need more than this. So I can get by with just these adapters, but this is the adapter we're gonna use. There's no number on it for uh, putting this ball joint in. Let me go put you all in a tripod and I'll show you the procedure of getting this ball joint out and back in. Alrighty, well I hope you can see. So what we're gonna do on this here, we're just gonna use an air hammer to knock out the ball joint. So I have a, uh, a blunt one. I'm just gonna go in here. There's no sear clip or anything. The camera might bounce around. Um, I might drop you, I don't know. We'll find out what happens. But you're just gonna get in here and start. Oops, forgot, 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 forgot. Hearing protectors, always very important when you're using air hammer. Hearing protectors, I got my, my glasses on. So let's try this again. And there you have it, that easy to get the ball joint out. Let's take the hearing protectors off. And I have my wire brush. I like to wire brush this. Uh, the new ball joint will have a clip that goes up around here to help keep it in, but you really don't need it. Um, so after I kind of clean it up, I put a little WD-40 in there. Let me reposition this in the clamp to make it easier to put the new ball joint in. All right. So, I don't have the ball joint down here. I'll have to go walk out in the bay and get it. So, let me reset the camera, give you a different angle. I'll show you how to put the ball joint in. Alrighty, I got G Jr. here holding the camera for me. So now we're gonna put the ball joint in. Like I said, these new ball joints have this ring that goes in this groove to help keep them in. So I already put a little WD-40 in here. So the ball joint sits in here like this. I'm gonna spray just a little bit more WD-40 around the ball joint. So like I said, this is what comes in handy about this uh, um, Astro uh, set is this is what I need to put here. So we're gonna put the ball joint press here and here. I'm gonna tighten it down by hand. All right. We got it all lined up, right? Yep, so we're gonna be pushing the ball joint that way in we have our wrench i never ever use a impact to put ball joints in and 
what I want to do, you want to look at it and make sure that it is going in straight, not just straightened out. If it doesn't go in straight, sometimes you need to take, take a hammer and just smack it to get it to go straight. But this one's straightened right up, so I don't need to do that. So now you just start wrenching it. Right in there and you can see the ball joint is just slowly getting pulled in first the deeper it goes the harder it is to wrench it how close am i okay and you got to get it all the way in right now it's really hard but you know there's still you know 60 thousandths there if not more so you just keep going I usually try to get my thumbnail in there, but I can't get my thumbnail in. And eventually it will just stop. All right, so now it's stopped. Back off on the press. And let me loosen this up and tilt this up a little bit. Okay, and on this one here, like I said, you can see, come on, come on, stay up, please. Uh, it's got a groove here for this ring to go in. So the ring is split. You put the ring in, you put the one split in, and then you just kind of work it around with your fingers until it pops in. All right, everybody, so... Now I just have to put the whole car back together, but I just wanted to real quick show you that yeah, you might have a ball joint press, but if you don't have all the adapters that you need, it can be a really, really nightmare. This one here is for Mercedes. I wrote Mercedes on there. And these are very nice to have. Actually, there's a bigger set that I'm thinking about getting. All right, everybody, just a real quick one on how to install a ball joint on a Honda. Actually, I think a lot of Hondas are like this. So now you just got to put it back together. You got to put the CV joint through here, then put this ball joint back in, and then the upper mount for the strut, and just put everything back together. All right, this was just a really, really quick video, overview video on how to put a ball joint in. So with that, please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the automotive videos.